You want to learn Power BI but not spend any money? No problem. There's so much good stuff out there. Or maybe at the same time, that is the problem, that there is so much and that you don't know where to start. Well, if you're willing to put in a little bit of extra time and effort to create your own learning path, it's definitely possible. Let me show you how I would approach it. I've started my Power BI learning journey when Power BI was just released. And if you compare the quality and quantity of the learning resources that are out there right now, compared to back then, it's completely mind blowing. Now, I've done a lot of paid courses over the years, as well as looked at many free videos and blogs. And paid doesn't always mean better. But the problem with the free stuff is that you need to know where to look and when to look for what topics at what stage of your Power BI learning journey. And it's not just about having a list of free resources with blogs and videos to watch. It is more the approach that you take. So let me share how I would learn Power BI from scratch if I had to start all over again without paying for any courses. Step one, immerse yourself into the Power BI world. And this one is actually kind of unusual because most people, they would only do this when they are way further in their learning journey. So what you want is to see a lot of free Power BI content here on YouTube, but also on LinkedIn, Twitter, Insta, TikTok, wherever you spend a lot of time. And in this way, you're exposed to Power BI content, even if you're mindlessly scrolling on your phone. So make sure to follow hashtag Power BI on your favorite social media platforms. So after you've taken a few minutes to set that up, from now on, you will see dashboards that other people built using Power BI, or maybe visualization design ideas that they share, or maybe an explanation of a DAX function. And not all of it will make sense right from the start. However, it will make sense over time. It's like learning a new language. The best would be to listen to that new language as much as you can. And it doesn't make sense at the beginning, but over time, it will. And it will start to make sense more and more. And then it's time for step two. Get a high level overview of the main components within Power BI. And in my view, there are three. First of all, Power Query. Power Query lets you create a connection to different data sources and clean it up in a relatively easy way. And whenever you do a transformation, then it gets recorded so that when new data comes in, you just have to hit the refresh button and it reapplies all of the cleaning steps against the new data as well. Now, after you created your queries, you want to run the queries and load that data to your data model. And that's the second main component that you need to learn. In your data model, this is where you store your data and where you can create relationships between different tables. So if before you were matching data from different tables in Excel using lookup functions, well, that's a thing of the past. You want to build now a data model, which lets you work with larger amounts of data more efficiently. You will have better performance, less errors, and it's much more scalable. And then it's time to focus on the front end, the visualization part. You want to explore all of the visualization options in Power BI. Know how to structure visualizations, format them, and also see how visualizations interact between one another on a Power BI report page. So where can you then find free Power BI content that gives you this high level overview and that is good quality? Well, here on YouTube is a perfect starting point. Just do a search. Power BI start or how to get started with Power BI. And you will see a whole list of good videos that walk you through the process of getting started with Power BI. And often it also includes a nice little example to follow along with so that you have your first real experience. So my advice is just pick one or two people whose style you like and pair that with the learning resources from Microsoft, which are also for free. And they actually have also a playlist here on YouTube. And now that you have a high level overview of the main components in Power BI, it's time for step three, get a practical case. And here you wanna dive in the deep straight away. Put practice over theory. You don't learn a new language just by reading books. You wanna learn a few words and use the language as much as you can. And it's the same for Power BI. You want to practice in Power BI by doing yourself, not by watching a 10 hour video course. And learning by doing is much more effective. So look for a practical case that you can relate to. Maybe for your work, you already have a nice Excel report that can be converted to a Power BI report. Something that you can relate to. It has 
practical meaning. This is much more motivating. However, maybe you're a student or maybe you are working in a totally different area where you don't have that. Well, there are also many challenges that you can do and that you can easily find on LinkedIn. For example, there are challenges from Enterprise DNA, Maven Analytics, FP20, and many more. So now that you're working on your first Power BI report, it's time for step four. Work on your foundational knowledge as well. As you get started, you will quickly figure out those parts in Power BI that bring you the most value that you want to get better at, or those parts where you're struggling a little bit. Now, what you need to know is that for everything, first, concentrate on the main building blocks. Let's take DAX, for example. Well, you don't want to just start learning different functions. It's much more important to figure out what the main concepts are, what the main building blocks are that you are using within each formula. For example, in DAX, that could be context. So you have filter context, row context, how to build in logic using if switch, how to work with variables, that stuff you want to figure out first before starting to explore the hundreds of different functions that are there. So how can you figure out these main building blocks if you have no experience? Well, there's free content out there that helps you figure that out. For example, for DAX, go to the SQL BI website, which has free introductory courses on DAX or data modeling. Or you go to paid courses, figure out their content structure, and use that to find free resources on YouTube or different blog articles. And also for many paid courses, there are videos that you can watch for free. Or for Power BI Learning Paths, where you have a free trial of a few days. Also for mine, there's a three-day free trial. Make use of it. And then the very last step, step five, now it's time to expand your knowledge, to ask, and to share. By now, you probably figured out your favorite content creators on different platforms. Now, let's say you spend a lot of time here on YouTube and you like my style. Now, most YouTube channels, they will have different playlists about different topics. So for Power BI on my channel, that is Power Query DAX Design. You just go to one of these playlists and there you can explore different videos about that topic that you're interested in at the relevant stage of your learning journey. Now, as you go along and you put practice over theory, you probably run into many hurdles and you probably have a lot of questions. Now, you can ask your questions on your favorite platforms. For example, maybe you like Reddit. There's a whole Power BI community over there where you can ask questions and within a few hours, you probably will have a few answers already. Or maybe on Twitter or uh, under video here on YouTube you will be surprised how quickly people respond. And as you are engaging on these platforms, at some point, you probably will also want to give back a little bit and share your learnings with others. And teaching is the best way to deepen your understanding on a certain topic. And that's about it. Now it's up to you to implement these five steps. Most importantly, have fun while doing it because that is much more motivating and you will learn Power BI much more quickly. Now, if you cannot wait and want to get started straight away, then check out this video over here. And I hope to see you in my other videos.